take a look at how to take the link of an existing Google form and add it into Canvas. Now, we're going to look specifically at how to use an existing Google form in assignments. So the first thing that we're going to do is go over here and I'm going to jump over to my assignments. And at the top, I'm going to click assignments and I'm going to just call this one. I'm just going to call it example quiz because this is just an example. And now I'm going to need to put the link to my quiz. So I'm going to jump over to my quiz and notice that here I have the send button. This is just a silly quiz about ice cream and pizza. So ignore the actual questions. This is just an example quiz. So I'm going to click send. And we could email the quiz or the survey or whatever it may be. But I'm looking at the link icon. Remember that link chain links icons always mean to grab that URL, that link to something. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click copy. So I now have that link and I've copied it. I'm going to return back over to Canvas. And this is where in this assignment, remember we've talked about having very detailed instructions. We want to list out the steps that students need to do. We want to list out what's expected out of them. If there is a rubric, um, anything they need to know about grading, anything they need to know about how to turn in the assignment. You want to include as much information as possible. This is just an example, so I'm not going to include all that right now. I'm just going to write, click here to take this quiz or this I want to say quiz. It could be a survey. It could be anything that is you're going to use Google Forms for, okay? So I've typed that out. Pretend like I have a lot of great instructions here. And I'm going to highlight it. So we're just doing a hyperlink like you may already know how to do. So I'm going to go up here along the toolbar and I'm looking. Remember that chain link icon means to link. So I'm going to link that. Click that. You've got external links and course links. Remember External links are for outside of Canvas. Course links are for the course. Okay, so external links. There's that text that I had highlighted. And here's where I paste my link to my Google form. And there it is. So the students would click that and they would exit out and open the Google form in a new window. And that is where they complete the form. Now, the most important thing about this is if we scroll down, and you have to set your submission type. Now, your submission type is going to be no submission. Now, that may seem confusing because you're thinking, they are turning in something to me. This is an assignment. The purpose of no submission in this example is because they're submitting on Google Forms, right? If you leave this open, they're going to think that they need to turn something in when they submit this assignment, but they've already submitted on the form. So they don't need to submit within Canvas. They submit on the form and you are going to look at the answers and responses on the form. So you're going to select no submission. Now, some people may think, why use an assignment if we're doing no submission? The reason is, remember with assignments in Canvas, that allows you to give feedback and comments and given a give a grade and I mean even if the grade is like complete or incomplete or it might be points or a grade or percentage whatever it may be okay so you're going to use you're going to grab that link to the form grab the link to the form you're going to hyperlink it somewhere here within your wonderful detailed instructions right and you're going to select no submission type okay if you have any questions at all make sure to reach out to your ITF 